Now let me discuss one another theory uh, that is modified Euler's theorem. So we have studied about uh, the Euler's theorem. Now I will uh, go through the modified Euler's theorem. So let me discuss about the statement of modified Euler's theorem. Uh, the statement is given that if u is function of v, function of v, u is function of v, where, where v is v is a homogeneous function a homogeneous function genius function of independent variable x and y of degree degree n then statement says that x del u upon del x plus y del u upon del y is equal to n into v upon v prime v upon v prime clear <clears throat> so uh, first of all i will discuss the brief examples based on uh, modified Euler's theorem then uh, we will prove the statement of modified Euler's theorem so you have to just remember this statement that is x del u by del x plus y del u by del y is equal to n into v upon v prime now let me take one uh, problem based on modified Euler's theorem then we uh, we are uh, we will discuss about the proof of uh, modified Euler's theorem so let me just take one example uh, that is if if u is equal to 10 inverse 10 inverse in bracket x cube plus y cube upon x minus y then find the value of x del u upon del x plus y del u upon del y you have to find the statement of this so you have given a statement u is equal to 10 inverse x cube plus y cube upon x minus y so start from the solution solution write down first of all the statement that you have given u is equal to 10 inverse x cube plus y cube x minus y now we have to identify, identify either this function is homogeneous or not so let me take <coughs> lambda, uh, f of lambda x and lambda y so i will just write down uh, f of x comma y f of x comma y so now you can say that here in denominator there is power is 3 and in uh, numerator sorry in numerator the power of lambda is 3 and in denominator the power of lambda is uh, 1 so the function is already in the form of 10 inverse so you cannot ident identify uh, easily that uh, the given function is homogeneous or not so you just have to take a uh, one, another variable so I will put the name that is u is equal to 10 inverse x cube plus y cube x minus y and i will take one another variable that is v so now v is uh, sorry tan v tan inverse go through here that is tan v is equal to x cube plus y cube upon x minus y that is equal to u now from the statement of modified Euler's theorem you can say that u is function of v and v is function of x and y that is both are independent variable so now you can simply identify this function either it is a homogeneous function or not so now you have sorry v so that's i'm wrong from here so now
u is equal to tan inverse i will discuss it x cube plus y cube x minus y and i will take this function as a v so now that is v is equal to tan u that is x cube plus y cube x minus y that is your equation number one now you have to prove that this function either it is a homogeneous function or not so let me take it is as a f of x comma y so find out f of lambda x lambda y and put the values of x and y by lambda x and lambda y so lambda cube x cube plus y cube upon lambda x minus y so now homogeneous of degree 2 f of hence the given function is homogeneous of degree n is equal to 2 now we have to find the statement that is given here that you have to find x del u by del x plus y del u by del y now from the modified Euler's theorem statement we have proved that if u is function of v if u is function of v and v is function of x and y then we have the statement like x del u upon del x y del u upon del y is equal to n v upon v prime now put the values n that is your 2 into now what is v that is 10 u 10 u now derivative of 10 u with respect to u that is v prime so now what is a v prime so that is your sex square u clear so that is your sex square u so i will put sec square u now again simplify this uh, right side so you have 2 sin u cos u that is sin 2u clear so this is the value that we are uh, going to find out so uh, in the next part uh, I will see the another example based on modified Euler's theorem so let me just take a time so now uh, another problem is uh, given here that if u is equal to cosec inverse cosec inverse x plus y upon x square plus y square then you have to prove that you have to prove that x del u upon del x y del u upon del y is equal to tan u tan u you have to prove tan u of the modified Euler's theorem statement so just so just uh, taking the solution u is equal to cosec inverse x plus y x square plus y square and i will take another example uh, another variable that is v so therefore v is equal to cosec u x plus y x square plus y square that is f of lambda sorry f of x y so now prove, uh, prove this uh, given function either it is a homogeneous function or not so similarly by taking f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda x plus lambda y lambda square x square lambda square y square that is lambda x plus y upon lambda square x square plus y square so now you have lambda raised to minus 1 into f of x comma y so the given function is homogeneous function of degree n is equal to minus 1 so the statement of Euler's theorem says that x del u upon del x plus y del u upon del y is equal to n into v upon v prime okay so now you have n that is minus 1 so put the values of that 
that is minus 1. Now what is the V that is cosec U and what is V prime? So now you have V that is cosec U. Now you have to take derivative with respect to U that is V prime. So that is minus cosec U into cot U. So you have to put here minus cosec U cot U. Cosec U and cosec U both are cancelled minus minus that is plus so that's why 1 upon cot u so 1 upon cot u that is tan q clear so i have proved that x del u upon del x plus y del u upon del y is equal to tan u as the statement is proved so similarly we can uh, solve uh, the problem related to modified Euler's theorem so in the next part, uh, I will uh, give the problem statements of various examples and you have to prove just uh, by using the uh, Euler's theorem and modified Euler's theorem. Uh, similarly, we can uh, uh, we will discuss about uh, uh, various corollaries uh, regarding uh, Euler's theorem and modified Euler's theorem, and uh, we will go through the deep. Uh, we will go through deep in various examples, and uh, then we we are going to learn about uh, how we can. Uh, so uh, find out and solve the example related Euler's theorem and modified Euler's theorem.